And that's the type of guys that we are as, as people, like not to sound too heroic, but we're just there to, if we can help, we can help. So it was my brother who noticed that this guy was from the office. So we're on level four on King Street. He saw him out of the window, heard the commotion. He said, mate, there's a guy wielding a knife. He's on top of a bonnet. Like, let's get down. So we got down the elevator, down the lift, and, you know, we're just, just thankful that we could play our part. Mm. And there's other, there's other people that certainly, you know, kind of got there at the first, and we just ran after him as well and helped kind of restrain the individual. Not really. We, we, we've not slept, myself and Lee, you know. It's, um, it's just, you know, you look back at it and you think, what could I have done? What could I have done different? Could I have got to him a bit earlier and things like that? But I think the fact that we, you know, we acted, and I, and I said to my brother, let's go, because I was going, and I sprinted first. And, and you didn't hesitate? Definitely, no, definitely not. It was just one of those things that, you know, when you see someone like that covered in blood and there's a knife and there's people around, you know, some of our employees were out having coffee meetings and things, and you, it's just protection. And um, I said to my brother, I said, let's go. I said, we're going. And we're in the lift, and I said, mate, there is a person with, with a knife and, and there's blood. And, um, and we ran, and I'm just... Just so happy that these boys followed. I didn't really think, to be honest with you, like I saw, you know, the, these guys run out, you know, first, you know, they, and I just kind of followed suit. You know, these these guys are like my brothers, so, you know, once you see them go, you kind of just follow suit. Really, it was pretty chaotic. Mm. Um, yeah, very surreal experience. Well, like, out, out of all three of us, because we're all like a leadership team. Like, I'm the one that kind of analyzes. So as soon as, and he's the guy that's always in there first. So Luke jumped on the guy as well as other people restraining him and he, he you know he didn't move after that and I was the one that kind of like just assessed the situation I could see the knife with blood I was checking him see whether he had any explosive on him you know but Luke was you know for me he's, he's my brother he's my hero yeah. he jumped on him straight away without even thinking mm. any of that process through we did she didn't she didn't even see the news at the time she's like are you joking are you joking mm. um, and because my mum's a protective person by nature she's got two boys over of here course. and she's actually talked about it so every time we go over at Christmas, she's like, Sydney's been quite lucky uh, and, you know, not had an attack in this way. I know we had some uh, several years ago, but we've not had one since. And she's like, you know, just being a fearful mother, a protective mm. mother, she says, be, be warned. So it was kind of, you know, it was kind of to her, she said, I knew this, I knew this, you know. You know, there were a lot of people that wanted to, that wanted to, to get to him and, and, and kind of hurt him a little bit as well, and which, you know, we all, did, we all would have, you know, had that feeling. Instinct. That instinct, but, you know, I was looking in his eyes and he, he, was, he was saying stuff and gibberish, but it wasn't... It was more that you could see that he wasn't, wasn't well... He was troubled. At was troubled, all. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. very troubled, you know, yeah. and, and you could see that, and, and it was just a shame to see this weak person that had caused so much damage and you know by then we, we it was unknown what he'd done you know he, how how much the extent of what he'd done um, and he just lay there this, this this person thinking i was thinking to myself like how on earth has he he been allowed to you know do this you don't have to thank us like you know for us um being britons overseas like this is our second home mm, yeah. we love australia it's an amazing place and i'll tell you right now we've had this conversation in, in the car if it happened again, we'd do it again. No. Do you know what I mean? We well, would. We love you right because... back. Yeah, and well, Lee, well I hope the boss is good to you this morning if you're a little bit <laughs> weary and a little bit distracted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, well done, fellas.